up? Um, hello, welcome. Uh, in the previous video, we added this cross config file um, to avoid cross errors when we later deploy this application on a digital ocean droplet, which will be, of course, an um, extra tutorial series uh, on this channel. But now um, I want to, to add to our backend a real database. And for that, we would need our uh, application properties file. But um, I, I would suggest um, to, to not use the dot properties. Instead, I would uh, use here an um, YAML file. So uh, in, my, in my opinion, YAML files are just more um, give a better overview about the configuration and so on, refactor. Now it's a YAML file, that's great. So now let's let me just copy the stuff here and open the file and say add. Okay, nice. Um, yeah, this is just a basic um, um, application file with some configuration. I chose here now the uh, um, the YAML um, file extension because it gives us a better overview of what is going on here. And yeah, and I think you might wondering right now what this kind of things are. This dollar sign, curly braces and server port and so on. Um, these are here environment variables. So basically, this is an environment variable. We will have extra environment variables in our ID, but we will also, of course, uh, have um, environment variables um, later um, on DigitalOcean. Um, to be more precise, we will use um, the Docker image, which will provide for us the environment variables. Um, for now, and every in Spring, in the application file, you need a default value for your environment variable in case this is you don't have it set and so on to avoid errors. That's, that's why you see after this, the semicolon here, uh, after the dots here, um, the default values 80, 80 and so on. Just These are just random placeholders. But yeah, I would say now let's um, do add the configuration files. And yeah, as you can see, we can uh, let's just let me reiterate it. So click on your application file here and click on edit configurations. Now you come to this window and uh, go on modify options. Click on environment variables. So you can open this here. Say server underscore port and we can say for instance make this 1990 okay apply okay and uh, yeah now you can see we have the environment variables one here set um, I would say I quickly add the other ones so uh, this one let me go back here. Uh, okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Just set it to test. Go to the next one. Okay. Just set it to test. We will give real values in a few minutes. Uh, okay. Just check out this one. Remove this one. Set test again. Okay. The next one. Make this window a little bit bigger. And I think we are almost done. Okay. Okay, so as well as test. Okay, nice. 
Great. We have set the environment variables here. Let's click on OK. Apply. OK. OK. Next, we need an actual database. So for that, wait before we go to the actual database, we need to set a data source. It will be Postgres. Wait a second. So we make the window a little bit bigger. The name Superbase Postgres. So I know it's from Superbase, the Postgres database. And yeah, go to superbase.com. This is this is the URL. The just sign in with an account, and after you have signed in, you should say something like this. My project, it opened up, that's great. You should see table editor, I already created a table, this is the task table, uh, the database, but what we need right now are the database settings. Here it is, yes. Uh, okay. We need the host, copy the host. And by the way, you just you go, you click in your project, you go to project settings, you go to database, and you see the database settings. Uh, you click on copy, and the host, here comes the host. Database name, we don't need it, we need the user. The user, and the port, yeah. Five, four, three, two, Hamza Arba, Arba, Ifnan. It's great. Uh, then you need to set the password. Uh, you set the password before you, when you set up your database. Uh, just let me check if I got it right. Uh, okay, I think. I did something wrong. I have to look up the password. And uh, yeah, but I, anyways, I will think. I think I will now just end the video. Just look up what my password was, and see you in the next video. Ilalika.